Hey, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Hello, everybody. Um, this is Bobby again. Um, and I have been messing with this computer for quite some time now, trying to get the thing to work. And I don't like um, how it seems to be um, recording. It's kind of like a day late and a dollar short. My voice is ahead of my body. So I apologize for that, but there were a couple things that I wanted to show you guys. Um, I was talking about um, the Grace um, Ashton Drake doll that um, I have purchased from the Ashton Drake company. Now, what it is, is I'm brand new with this Reborn thing, and I um, decided to... Uh, uh, you know, I did a lot of research online, but as I've gotten, and it's not been very long since I've done the, the Reborn thing. Um, oh, I'd say it's been about maybe four months. If Well, no, not even four months. Let me take that back. I meant to say more like two months that I've been involved. Um, I can't even tell you uh, where... I saw my first Reborn. I just know that I happened to look online. Um, I started looking at the Reborns, and uh, some of them scared me. At first, my first initial reaction was, oh, my God, they look like dead babies. I mean, literally like dead babies. But as I continued to do some more research and got to different sites that offered um, uh, a variety of different artists, um, uh, I found that some artists were better than others. Um, and the babies became a little more realistic, and I began to understand where the draw was with reborns, especially someone like myself, because I'm a very maternal individual, and um, I'm 57. I don't mind telling y'all that, and I have a great need to love and be loved, and um, my grandchildren, I have six grandkids, but of the grandkids, two of the babies are five and two. And that two-year-old, I cannot get enough of. I am just in love with, from, from I'd say from two and under, they just make my life so worthwhile. Um, I love everything about babies, everything about babies um, in real life. And so it's only natural for me to migrate towards the reborn thing, but I never knew about the reborn thing. Ten years ago, I bought an Ashton Drake doll. Her name was Jasmine. She was the, um, she wore the red gingham dress. They still have her, obviously. She must be a very well put together um, doll. She's not technically a reborn doll, but she is beautiful. Um, I gave her to my granddaughter last year, which my daughter, I won't even go into that, um, but she was a beautiful doll. I had her for ten years. I kept her in the box, but, but, you have to understand that time in my life when I bought her, she was a doll of color. I absolutely fell in love with her, but um, I was still very much involved with raising my kids and being a mom, and I still had a little one um, that I was raising, and my boys um, were still young. So I really didn't mess with Jasmine too much. Now I wish I had Jasmine. I would give anything to have her back, but I can't get her back unless I buy a brand new Jasmine doll. So, um, you know, and I might. One day I may say, you know what, I'm going to replace her because she was my very first doll. But like I said, I gave her away to my granddaughter and um, she was so well preserved that she still smelled like baby powder. She was still brand new and she was absolutely adorable. Uh, I think her hair was glued on, but even with her hair glued on, she still had a very full head of hair. She had beautiful little... Um, uh, ponytails going across the top of her head and j they still sell her um, I think she's like $159 she's just beautiful and she is the one in the red gingham dress because I do have several varieties of the same jasmine um, they have a palm size jasmine they have going to grandma's uh, jasmine and then they have the jasmine that's in the red gingham and the red gingham doll is the one I had and I would love to have her back but I don't know what happened, where she's at today. All I know is I gave her to my granddaughter, and my daughter basically either gave her away or threw her away. I don't know which. 
devastating, I know. A hard-earned lesson. Anyway, so I was talking about the Ashton Drake dolls, and I was also in this the video here trying to get this thing to work. Please excuse the Christmas tree behind me, by the way. Don't even pay attention to that, okay? I'm not even going to go into details as to why that tree is there, whatever. Um, but I ordered, um, in my research, I started, you know, looking online and everything, and I purchased the Grace Hello, the little Grace doll. I don't think she's called Hello Grace, but her name is Grace. Little Grace or something like that. She has a little diaper with lace around it. Um, and then she had like a little vest with a diaper uh, or the lace around it as well. And when she came, I immediately took her out of the box. And I didn't like the clothes that she had on, so I took the clothes off. Threw away the box, blah, blah, blah. Well, now I wish I had sent her back. Um, she's really cute, but she has no detail to her whatsoever. Um, she does have some, um, you know, like, um, uh, what do you call it? Like, um, uh, um, she has like wrinkles and she has, you know, little crease marks and everything on her. But the problem with her is that, um, she has no veining, no modeling. Um, her hair is glued. You can see where they brushed the glue on. You can actually see the glue spots. You can actually see the lines, in other words, of, I guess, they, when they dip the brush or whatever they use, um, you can actually see the markings of the glue. It's shiny, and then they kind of, like, splat the hair on. Now, this is the Grace. This is the Grace doll. Now, Jasmine was put together much better, and I don't know if, if she was put together because... Um, she was a different style doll, or maybe the, the person that worked on her in the factory did a better job. It's like this Grace doll was like, oh, my God, I'm so tired of doing this job. Let me hurry up and get this doll finished. I don't know. Um, but the glue, um, I could literally take her hair and just kind of gently pull it back like a Band-Aid and just pull her hair off if I wanted to. So... Do not buy the Grace doll from Ashton Drake. Do not buy the Grace doll. Um, the video that I tried to make a little bit earlier, um, she on her shoulder, it's she has full length. Well, she has three quarter limbs, I guess you could say, and full legs. But where the the limb ends, kind of like where my sleeve is at, from there to the shoulder is cloth. And there's a seam there, and there's already a hole on that seam where it's sewed together. And what's weird is I haven't spent any time with this doll. Um, because when I got her in the mail, by the time I got um, this Ashton Drake Grace doll, I had three Reborns in my possession just that quick, just that fast. I got Landon James from uh, Pammy's Reborn Nursery. I got... Amber Lynn from Heart to Heart Reborn Nursery. And then I got Elizabeth Marie. She was my first reborn that I purchased, but she was a re-adopted reborn that I had to go and pick up out of Wilmington in Wilmington, North Carolina. Um, I only paid $100 for her beautiful doll. She's the biggest of my reborns. But Grace is the Ashton Drake purchase, and I she's not even paid for I've made one payment on her, and I don't know. I'm stupid, I guess, because I should have just kept the box and kept everything and just sent her back, um, really. But because I'm stuck with her, because now, because I threw away the box and everything, I don't know that I could still return her. I really wish I could. I wish I had kept her outfit. I didn't. I was just very um, excited to get her. You know, she had a cute little face. Everything about her looked cute, but then... Now that I'm more informed and I'm, I'm much more knowledgeable about the dolls and what I, you know, can look for, I realize that the quality is is inferior. I'm not saying that all the Ashton Drake dolls are that way because, like I said, the um, Jasmine doll was absolutely beautiful. And they are coming out with a bunch of new dolls that seem to be more and more realistic as they go along. But do not buy Grace Little Grace or whatever her name is.
from Ashton Drake. It's not worth the money. Save your money, and if you have to, I mean, she, the thing about Ashton Drake that is so appealing, and I realize it's a hardship for people, um, especially artists, that really put a lot of love and time into their dolls. I respect and understand that they have an installment thing. It's like, you know, two payments or three payments. But the attraction with the Ashton Drake dolls, and I, I mean, the bottom line, is that they have the installment factor. You make like six payments or five payments, um, and you pay for the doll like that. You get the doll up front, which if I were a reborn artist, um, I definitely would not send the doll ahead of the payments. Now, Ashton Drake does that. If I were a reborn artist and someone really, really wanted a doll, they wanted a baby bad, I would keep the baby and let them make the payments. Because guess what? If they don't finish paying for the doll, then they don't get the doll. You get the money, but they don't get the doll. So like say if someone's, and I know it sounds terrible, but let's just say I've made like six payments of 20 some odd dollars. or Say I made six payments, or no, say I made four payments of $30. And I had several more payments to make and I didn't follow through, well, you don't get the doll, and you also lose your money, okay? But the appeal with Ashton Drake is you send them that very first payment. They send the doll. You know, who's to say that you could continue making the payments? If I were a reborn artist, I would not do that. Um, but going back to... The Ashton Drake, I think that's the privilege. That's where the attraction is. Otherwise, forget it. Um, you know, the quality is just not there. But they have come out with some new babies, um, and I am going to check it out. But right now, I have my three Reborns, and then I've got my one Ashton Drake. I also have a Reborn coming this week in the mail. And then I've got another one I'm paying off. I hope within the next week or two, no no more than two weeks, she'll be paid off. And she's going to be like the diamond in the rough um, because she's my most expensive reborn and I can't wait to get her. Um, however long it takes my artist friend to make her, I'm in no hurry. I want her to be a beautiful, beautiful baby. Now, the first doll that I purchased um, that was a reborn um, that was specifically made at my request not the re-adopted baby, but the first, first reborn baby that I purchased. Um, I don't know that I could sell her because she was under $200, definitely. But I'm attached to her. Even though the quality is okay, she's not the best-looking baby in the whole wide world, but she is a true reborn baby, and I love her. And so I know I wouldn't be able to sell her. But the doll that's coming in, my last reborn baby, I think will be the icing on the cake. And then after her and the one that's coming in this week, I'm going to have to slow down and kind of catch my breath, get my bills caught up, and then later I'll get some more reborns. But for now, I have three reborns, two on the way, and one Ashton Drake. And I think that's enough. Okay, so I'm going to stop this video. And if this doesn't seem to make sense, I'm sorry. But my, my main goal when I was trying to mess with this computer was to let y'all know, do not buy the Grace doll from Ashton Drake. It's not worth the money. Um, I would really do a lot of heavy research before I bought any dolls from Ashton Drake. Um, like I said, they have some new ones out that look really nice. Um, but you still have to be careful. Okay, see you later. You guys have a good weekend. Bye.